Today on our 2007 Ford F-250, we're going to review and install the Curt Class 5 2.5 inch receiver tube hitch, part number C15810. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like once it's installed. Our hitch is a super strong square tube constructed, fully welded with a matte black coated finish. This is our big heavy duty hitch, so we've also got large chain hold downs making it easy for those large hooks for the heavy duty trailers. Here we have a 5 8 pinhole that goes all the way through our class 5 2 and a half inch by 2 and a half inch receiver tube. This hitch is capable of up to 2,700 pounds of tongue weight and a 20,000 pound tow capacity. Next we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements. This will assist you in selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is three and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening down to the ground is 20 inches. We'll now go ahead and show you the minimum tools required for installing the hitch. We're going to use our three quarter inch socket and ratchet and then our torque wrench. Now let's go ahead and show you just how easy it is to install the hitch. Note, if your vehicle is equipped with a spare tire, you want to go ahead and lower and remove it to make it easier to install the hitch. While it's not a requirement, it does make it a lot easier. Now let's go ahead and point out our attachment points. Now we're gonna have a total of eight attachment points, four on each side. These attachment points are pre-drilled holes in the frame by the manufacturer. Now the hardware for each attachment point is gonna be a 9 carriage bolt. We'll engage the carriage bolt and block and then drop it down through the attachment point. Once we have our hitch in place, we'll install a 9 flange nut to secure each of the attachment points. Let's go ahead put all of our carriage bolt and blocks in place. Now keep in mind each process we do here to one side will get repeated identically on the other side. We're now ready to go ahead and install our hitch. It's a good idea to get an next set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install your fasteners. Now once we hold our hitch up to the frame, we'll go ahead and install the flange nuts. We'll install each one finger tight until they're all in place. Once we have all our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Now once all our fasteners are tightened down, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in the instructions. Just like that, our hitch is installed and we're ready to hit the road. That'll do it for the review and install of our Curt Class 5 2.5 inch receiver tube hitch, part number C. 15810 on our 2007 Ford F250.